Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. The chariot reversed. Cancer energy, um, possibly feeling like, look, I have an ultimate goal. I kind of know what I would like ideally, but do I know how we're getting there at this point? No. Um, do I feel like we've taken lots of um, twists and turns that have affected me in the 3D, in the 5D, some I'm grateful for, others I'm not. I'm sure they all have a point. Do I get all of the points at this time? Maybe not. You know, yes, yes, that's how I feel. Okay. What else, please? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ace of Swords reversed. So we know the Ace of Swords is about truth, whether we are gaining some kind of insight and truth that is like, you know, crystal clear. Um, sometimes I think of the Ace of Swords a bit like the tower. It's almost like an epiphany, and once it hits, it's there. You can't unsee it. You can't unknow it. You can't go back. It doesn't always mean it's a bad thing, you know. Um, but this, you know, these two hands are holding this blade and there is blood coming out. And I'm noticing specifically, um, we've got this eye. So I think, you know, if this is your reading, you might resonate with feeling like this has been a real journey. You know, you've had some awakenings. It maybe even is perhaps when you started going through let's say something like a spiritual awakening that's when you met this person or maybe even meeting them was a, a sort of a catalyst but if you were to look back between the person you are now and the person you were before whether that's six months ago years ago weeks ago whatever it's like you would say yeah there's been a lot of change mostly within perhaps some of it is now reflected in your external reality but so many revelations, understandings, realizations, some great, some painful, some good, but in order to make the most of it, going through painful changes. Um, definitely. And I'm noticing we've got the sun peeking out here. We've got the sun peeking out here as well. Um, oh, we've got two of them. It's lots of strong Leo energy. We even have a lion's face here. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. So right now, not feeling particularly maybe recognized by your person um, or valued or seen. Um, feeling like you have given and given and given and perhaps just not received anything back but, but certainly not nearly as much as you have given. Now this could also symbolise the recognition of, of a lack of equal give and take and saying you know what rather than get to the point where I feel like I'm being a martyr I'm just going to pull back and I'm going to channel this energy, effort and nourishment into myself. Okay, what else, please? How is my viewer feeling, experiencing this situation? Okay, two of wands. There's a feeling this could go either way, and I feel some of you might almost be in two minds. It's, it's like sometimes you feel very hopeful and positive, and you want to move forward, address anything that's happened that's caused this pain or frustration, and you know ascend with this person other times you might be feeling like no too much has happened or i'm not waiting i'm not interested and it might sort of flip-flop between the two there is also the feeling i'm getting is this two of wands might be you saying yes there are there are two ways this could go maybe i'll never hear from them again maybe i will maybe we'll move forward together maybe we won't some days i want one thing some days i want the other um, or sometimes i believe in one thing more than the other even if my ultimate goal remains the same so you know some days one path just seems more likely um but there's a real feeling that that somehow this two of wands the decision is slightly out of your hands so see how these two figures here are looking up at the wands almost like looking to see i wonder which decision this person will make, I wonder which path they're going to choose. Does it involve me or are they going in the other direction or are they going to keep walking down the same path they're on? Um, that's kind of preventing us moving forward together in the way that really I might like. Um, and this, you know, this could stand even if you're already in an actual relationship. And I think many of you watching won't be, but even if you are, it could be like you're trying to get to a shared goal and you seem to still somehow be on different pages. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes there's more hope that this will get figured out than others. We have the Page of Cups. So I think for many of you right now, a big, big wish would simply just be to hear from this person, to have communication, to receive a message. Um, okay. Possibly an apology. We have Strength reversed. Wow, there is that Leo energy right under the um, lion's head. 
I'm gonna, do you know, the expression I just heard was your ego has taken a beating. So, oh my gosh, that's a lot. So you may really feel like this connection in a way has broken you down so that you could build yourself up again in a more enlightened, ascended way, how, which is, you know, great. But the whole ego breaking down thing is initially very uncomfortable, very painful. Um, and depending on how it happens, you know, at different points, it can be more or less painful. And I do, I do feel there's been a lot of pain here. Um, <clears throat> and look, you see how she's holding apart the mouth of this creature. So she thinks she's avoided disaster there, but she doesn't realize the tail is actually, it almost looks like it's coming up behind and is about to pierce through her. So yeah, just, just, I think you, you may feel at times you've been surprised and, You've been under attack by just unexpected words, things that have happened, information you found out. It's like, I thought the threat was coming from here and then you, you got me from over here. Um, whether it, you know, I'm not saying this person has intentionally been absolutely awful to you, but just certain things, and it doesn't even have to be about this person. It could even be realizations about yourself or the connection or, you know, yourself in the past or past connections that you're seeing differently now because of, of the ascension that's happened here and it's just like gosh um i really i was trying to avoid or i was so focused on this over here i did not see that coming um okay <clears throat> so i'm feeling quite a bit of growth this happened very quickly um okay page of wands reversed yeah, a, a complete lack of equal give and take. You may feel you've shown up, whether you're watching this as a woman, as a man, as this queen of wands, very giving, very confident, continually strong, nurturing this connection. And what did you get in response? A page of wands. Um, it's not equal. It's not equal even at all. <clears throat> so you might understand, yes, my person looks to me for inspiration. That's great. They think, or they always wait for me to initiate because they know I'm, I can do it. I have done it. They believe I'm very confident. All those things are true. However, it would be nice if I could have a king of wands versus a page of wands who sometimes took the lead or initiated. Okay. And we have the nine of wands. That's exactly it. Are we going one way? Are we going the other? And this figure's got two heads, two outstretched arms. Both heads are going in the opposite direction. Both arms are going in opposite directions. Are we going up the ladder? Are we going down the ladder? You know, in your opinion, one path clearly makes sense. We take that final step, we grab the glass of water that we so badly need, and then we get off of this damn ladder that's about to crumble because it's on fire. You know, let's, let's, why are we just standing here delaying, making this decision while we burn to death, you know? But what can you do? You can only do your side of things, I think, is the feeling here. Um, and it's almost like this person has to come to their own realization um, about this. And I, you know, we'll see in a minute. I don't want to guess, but um, what I feel is that for some of you, you may even have had conversations about this. They may have said certain things, but it's like they haven't yet committed to taking the action. That's the thing they've got to decide to say, right, I'm actually going to do it now. I'm going to follow through. Okay, so this is interesting. In terms of your perspective, there's a lot of what has happened coming up, how it's left you feeling. In terms of hopes, I'm seeing really, I mean, comparatively, the hope is actually, it feels quite small. And when I, no, that doesn't sound right. When I say that, it sounds like you don't have much hope, but let me rephrase. Um, you're not asking for much. You're, the thing you're hoping for is something, it's very simple and easy to do. Just a little bit of communication, an apology. That's it whether it's you want your person to reach out to you or you would like to, to be able to reach out to them. It's not a big ask. You're not asking them to sort of, you know, immediately right now pack up their whole lives and come to you. I mean, maybe that would be great, but really all, all you kind of, you know, it would make you very happy just to hear from them at this point. Um, and I'm feeling that very strongly. It's almost like spirit wants to just remind you that's not unreasonable. Um, no matter what's happened, well, let me retract that. The reason I say that is I don't see anything here that's happened that's irreversible. Um, <clears throat> so based on what I'm seeing here, I don't think it's an unreasonable thing to wish for, hope for, to hold on to. Um, and sometimes it might feel that way, especially if you've been waiting for a long time 
or you've seen no movement, you know, so spirit's just here to say you're not asking for the whole world, you're just maybe a message or a hello, you know? Um, okay, so we've got Cancer, we have Leo. <clears throat> I'm just seeing if there's anything else I'm getting here because, yeah, like I said, a lot of this is... I think the reason is you might be, if you know, if you're resonating with this, you might be at a point where you're just sort of throwing your hands up and waiting to see what this person will do next. In the meantime, you know, you're just focusing on yourself and, and doing your own thing. Okay, let me, I wanted to get some oracle cards, which I will use for both sides so we can see um, if there's any overlap there. And I'll just use a whole new deck for your person. So again, you can see if there are any overlapping cards. Okay, can we have a couple of these messages, please? What's going on from my viewer's perspective? How are they feeling? What are they hoping for? Any frustrations? I also feel there's so much of, of a feeling of enlightenment, ascension, having had realizations, you know, and accepting those and growing from those, but almost looking at your person and saying, come on, you know, why aren't you doing the same? Why why are you resisting the lessons? Or have you have you you know gathered any um <clears throat> uh insight here because i'm not sure i'm seeing it sometimes i think i'm seeing it other times i feel like you're behaving the way you always have um <laughs> can i just pause Do you know what this is making me think of and I, it, it is relevant even though it sounds like i'm just going on a tangent i went to see a, a movie um i think it was called bones and all a while ago and I was in a screen and across the aisle from me was a couple and I'd seen them in the queue when I was buying snacks before the film and the guy in particular was really loud and drawing all the attention and telling the woman he was with come and stand over here why are you you know like shut up um anyway we went to the screen and he was across the aisle for me so i thought oh, brilliant and throughout the movie i mean he was having a great time he was reacting to the film we could all hear him he was having some beer and you know like he was going for it and when the movie ended the guy behind him said something about it essentially i couldn't hear anything because <laughs> you know you were so loud and then this guy who'd been a nuisance the whole time turned around to him and said well what did you gather from the film then and it was hilarious <laughs> um and that's kind of what i feel has happened here like you've been watching the film the movie you know you've been following the plot, having these realizations as it unfolds and going, okay, wow, gosh, that's interesting. And you're looking at your person and they've been watching the same film as you, but I don't know, like eating popcorn, talking to other people, you know, like, can you focus? Are you taking any of this in? Um, I don't know, it just, it's just funny. That's just what came to mind. But it's like, you've sat in the same screen for the same length of time, you've been through the same experience, watched the same thing, and yet, you might feel very enlightened at the end of it like okay i watched that i understood it it's left me thinking about this and that whereas you might be looking at your person and wondering how much of it did you really take in you know i would love to have a discussion with you about how you perceive that is it the same way i did you know yeah <laughs> okay let's see we have miracle wow okay You know what was also funny about that is the way he'd been showing up and speaking and behaving, him turning, you know, the way he said, well, what did you gather from the film then? It seemed to be really out of the character, you know, out of whatever the character was that he was putting out there. And I don't know him, so I can't say for sure. But that's what made it so funny that he just sort of started speaking in this way that was not how he had been before. Um, like he was putting on this persona. So again, I don't know if you're feeling like sometimes your person you might feel tricked or duped, like they're projecting an image and you're like, okay, I think something's changed, but then they go back to how it was before. Okay, so we've got the yellow, green, blue, we have the solar plexus, the heart and the throat. Hmm, this is interesting, miracle. I did not see this coming. I wonder, you know, you might look at this connection, feel like it is a miracle or meeting this person or how you met them or the feelings you felt for them 
um, and, and that you perceive them feeling for you as soon as you met. You know, maybe it was that feeling of, gosh, I just met you, but I feel like I know you. So you could look at this as being a very high vibrational soul connection soulmate, past lives, twin flames, that sort of thing. But then look how it goes from miracle to victim. And, you know, we have this squirrel and this dragon. The squirrel's feeling, I think at the end of, of this story here, that the squirrel is tricked by the dragon, of course. The, you know, the dragon wants its acorn. And that's what I was getting from the message. Where is it here? You know, you feel like you know where the threats are, but then you get stabbed by the tail. Um, okay, so we have this victim card. However, what I will say, is I think from what I remember the book is asking the question of do we need to be more perceptive do we need to be more careful about who we are trusting you know and the heart chakra here so you could have gone into this connection completely open-hearted like a page of cups you know um this is how I feel my guard is completely down with you I trust you and over time Maybe you felt you've been tricked or deceived in some way, probably more than once, and your guard has sort of started to go up. And it's bittersweet. You're showing up as this queen of wands, which is fantastic, strong, confident. You know, you're taking the lessons, you've, you've gained the wisdom, and, and you're using it to your advantage, and you're moving forward. However, it might feel like we've lost a bit of the innocence of a page. Um, so again, that fits in with that message I was seeing about, I've had these truths, this enlightenment, I've seen things about myself, you, the situation, everything, and I'm grateful for that, but it came with a bit of a cost, you know, it wasn't that pleasant in the moment, and I'm definitely not who I used to be, whether that's for better or worse. Now, we have impatience. I do think there's a feeling of, I would like to hear from this person or to be able to speak to them again and see this guy it's like he's shooting for the moon but that's exactly what spirit's saying you're not you're not asking for them to literally lift up a mountain and bring it to you a message is not that big of an ask it might just feel that way because over time you've not had that and you've wanted it and it's it's just started to feel like this impossible thing that's that's never going to happen um Impatience is interesting because you might feel like you've been incredibly pa um, incredibly patient, especially if you've been wanting reconnection for some time. However, I do think there could be something here around divine timing. So it could be you have guides saying to you, look, we are working on this. That's the first thing. We want to reassure you and give you hope that this is not outside of the realm of possibility. In fact, we're working on this, but we do need you to trust the timing on this because there are things going on that you can't see. So for example, imagine this person reached out to you today, you'd be happy, but then imagine if they went completely back to that same behavior that, you know, was so imbalanced, queen of wands, page of wands in the past, it would be a huge disappointment. So perhaps your guides and their guides want to get this person to a point um, where they can show up as a king of wands to your queen of wands, you know, it's that sort of thing. Um, or maybe they would reach out and say something or suggest something and then you would realise, hold on, I'm not ready for that. And again, there would be, you know, a lag or a disappointment. So really a message of saying, you know, please trust us. We know you have been patient, but um, we're still working on some things, but we do want you to know that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Um, even if you have already been waiting some time. <clears throat> right, okay, so I think I'm going to pause actually and just take a breath and then come back um, and we'll look at your person's side, but I will put these three oracle cards back in case they want to come out again. Okay, so let's continue, let's have a look at does this person feel the same? So we just looked at everything that you're feeling. Okay. So, can you please show us, Spirit, the person on my viewer's mind? Do they feel the same? Are they thinking the same sort of things? Do they have the same hopes, wishes, concerns, fears, frustrations, perceptions about the past, the present, <laughs> present, <laughs> present? said to myself that I would not make this reading 40 minutes long and yet here we are. Oh well, never mind. Okay, let's see. Ten of Wands reversed. Ace of Coins. Okay. 
I'm just looking at what's underneath. I wanted to see um, what you guys started off with. And we have the chariot reverse. This is already interesting because it feels like your um, focus primarily is on moving forward, the future, getting to where you want to go. Whereas this person's current focus is on maybe a bit of the past, but their focus is on it so strongly, it's their present. And it's the ending of a cycle that they would like to close out because it's the 10 of wands, it's heaviness, it's a struggle, it's a strain, it's a burden. 10 is, you know, as we know, releasing that old cycle, but it's reversed, so it's being prolonged. And the reason it's, it's being prolonged clearly isn't because you guys want that, you want to look at the future. It's because they're giving so much energy and thought and attention to it. So let's say the last time you spoke, it was difficult, it was a struggle or something like that. They keep thinking about that last time and how things were left because they miss you, they want this new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, but when they think about reconnection, they think about the last time you spoke, you know, rather than thinking, okay, well, if we reconnect, where can we go from here? Okay, Aha! Ace of Swords reversed as well. <clears throat> okay, this feels more of a, I don't know what to say, I don't know how to move this forward, I know what I want, it's a fresh start here, and I want it to actually materialise and to be tangible, I don't just want a reconnection with emotions, or passion, or intention, or, in, you know, all of that, um, I want something grounded, I want action here, but... I don't know what to say, I don't know, I'm kind of confused in my thinking around this as well, is this even possible right now, am I being foolish to still hope for this? It feels to me there's a, there's a lot more confusion on their side than on yours. Nine of pentacles, nine of discs reversed. Now, okay, um, remember the, the cards, in fact I think they're still on the top, um, this one, impatience, coming out, it was at the end here, and the message from Spirit was, you know, we're still sort of working some things out. Nine of coins reversed. Spirit is trying to get this person into this nine of coins energy. Someone who is ready to take that step into the ten of pentacles um, commitment. And I think they're very close, because we do have it showing up, but it's, it's reversed, so they're not quite there yet. And then we've got, you know, as I said, I feel like this is you watching them, two of wands, and we've even got the suggestion of two potential paths with this nine of wands. Are we going up or down? Are we looking at the past or the future? Yeah, <clears throat> so that's what we're waiting for here, the last puzzle piece almost to slip into place, for this person to blossom into the fullness of who they're becoming and to then say, okay, as this person I am today, this will be the decision I'm going to make. There's a feeling, though, that um, they have a sense that you would be completion for them. They've got the nine coins, but we know that's an energy of being a solo, single person doing your own thing by yourself, um, which is great, but not for this person, because they're looking to you to form this um, partnership, this connection. It's like you have that final missing piece there that they're looking for. We have the two of coins reversed. You know, it's interesting, in this deck it actually says change. So that's the thing. There's a temptation to leave the past in the past and move forward, but there's some reason they can't let go. They're hanging on to the past. It could be through a fear that if they let go of the past and the memories, they will be letting go of you, especially if they're not sure if there's more to come between you, you know? Um, let's see, what's the fear here in terms of letting go? justice reverse libra energy that, that they will never get a chance to make things right that they will never get what they perceive to be justice which is to have this new um fresh opportunity with you that things will be just left imbalanced and kind of weird there won't be closure um yeah they, they worry that the scales will not get to be balanced whether they feel there are things they want they didn't get there are things they want to give that they didn't there um are experiences they want to have with you that they didn't get to have and to be honest the experience i think is you know this commitment that they want with you okay let's keep going how is my viewers person perceiving things right now what are their thoughts feelings hopes wishes Concerns, frustrations, disappointments. Do they feel the same? We have the Seven of Wands. Well, that's interesting. They are being defensive and guarded against the very thing they're saying that they want. And my assumption would be because of the change uh, or changes they would need to go through to invite and accept this Ace of Pentacles with you. 
The nine of coins reversed could also be talking about the fact that they are not free of other attachments, whether that's another relationship, um, some sort of internal monologue that's keeping them down or held back, some kind of addiction, could be money concerns, several of the above. <clears throat> Let's see, seven of wands, what's this defensiveness about? Oh, I just got a glimpse of the chariot in the reverse. This is someone who feels confused, and this confusion is something they don't like. They are overwhelmed by it. Um, because you had the chariot reversed, but it was more if it wasn't as overwhelming as I'm feeling for this person here. Yeah, page of wands reversed. I don't know if this is someone who likes to be very much in control and not knowing is really testing the limits of what they're comfortable with or what they can cope with. Um, but it's more a feeling of for this person, the unknown is something to fear. Maybe for you guys, the unknown offers potential because you already know what's happened. And it seems to me that there's been a quite a high degree of pain and disappointment amongst, you know, the good things, but that's what really came through is um you know the things you'd be happy to leave behind so you're like okay the future offers promise even the unknown you know um offers a lot of potential for this person the unknown is is terrifying um and that's another reason why they're staying stuck in the memories in the past in this cycle that's ready to close because at least they know what happened it's like the whole better the devil you know thing you know okay yeah, look, Ten of Swords reverse. They are really stuck in some kind of a painful um, ending cycle, last final interaction with you, perhaps. But look, again, from the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands, it's like part of them is calling out to release and open up to a new beginning. And I do think they're being encouraged by their guides to do this. Their intuition is nudging at them. This could be someone who maybe they have or have had throughout life kind of a pessimistic outlook for whatever reason on things. Um, or they find it difficult to be confident within themselves and hopeful. So there's almost a feeling of safety and security in the disappointment or um, the pain or this card says despair. Um, because at least it's familiar, at least they know what they're getting. I just think this is someone who does not like the unknown. Um, they like to be able to know what's coming next, to predict what's coming up. <clears throat> we have the Three of Pentacles, Three of Discs, and it says Works. Uh, I do think quite literally this could be someone who does distract themselves a lot with work or it's like in the work realm this is someone incredibly courageous confident you know they make really bold moves but none you know that doesn't that's not reflected in their personal life or at least in this connection they're playing it really really safe too safe in fact um they're actually holding themselves back Hmm. <clears throat> this is someone who does want to, to team up with you. I also feel in some, for just for a few of you, there could be something practical that they want to team up with you on. Because in my head earlier, I did say, uh, sorry, I did hear alliance, the word alliance. So forming an alliance with you around something and something practical, something hands on. But um, generally speaking, I think this is someone who is comfortable and good when I just heard working with their hands. So maybe they work with their hands, but just being hands on in, <clears throat> excuse me, in life, things that they can control. So you can't control, you know, living things. I mean, maybe to a point, like if you've got a dog and you train it to sit, it will sit, you know, but like where people and animals thoughts go and all of that. And, and, you know, they can't control you and how you, you, react to them and what you're doing day to day but they can control their job or the task at hand or do you know do you know what I mean like they feel comfortable with things that they can dominate and I know I don't mean that in the like terrible way it sounds but like they have control over the thing so they know what to expect it's safe it's secure um I don't know maybe if they're used to people being unstable or unpredictable around them you know it could be family that they grew up with or something like that um, <clears throat> or maybe they've had past romantic partners who have come across one way and then they've seen them flip, do a 180 and show a completely 
unlikable side of themselves. Um, this, you know, it's interesting. We have the dynamic between the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. This person is coming up like a page. We even have, you know, Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands here, um, because they feel insecure. They really do look at you as being this pillar of strength and they just feel confused, like they're floating in a deep sea. They don't know where the shore is. They don't know how deep it is beneath them. They're just floating around, waiting to be rescued. Um, which, you know, I mean, that's probably not the sort of equal partnership you're looking for, but I'm sure, you know, that's not like a make or break for you. But then on top of that, because, you, you know, you can work together with that. But on top of that, we've got the Seven of Wands. So they're also being resistant and possibly even pushing you away or have pushed you away at times, which makes it incredibly difficult. Um, and a lot of hard work for you. And then it really begins to feel like you're trying to lead this person or heal them or something like that. Because first you've got to break down their defences. Then you've got to boost them up and try and, you know, give them or help them to see their own um self-worth and get them to be confident so that they can stand by your side and not be a page do you know what i mean it's it's a bit much and that could be a reason if you feel like there was some divine intervention to sort of put you in separation maybe maybe that's why maybe spirit was like look this is really imbalanced you need to be giving less this person needs to be finding their own self-confidence you know that sort of thing um let me have another look at this resistance here Queen of Swords reversed. So they could feel nervous about initiating contact with you at this time if they feel like you're cross with them or still cross with them, possibly. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, look, Three of Swords reversed. So they wonder and worry that you are as attached to the past as they are. And yes, I did see in the spread for you guys, if this is resonating, that you have experienced, you know, it says sorrow, sorrow, pain here. But it's not that you're sitting still in that place. There's an acknowledgement of, yes, this has happened. I'm not going to just be able to erase it from my mind, but I am more interested in just moving out of this place into the future, into um, the possibility here. But they seem to, you know, of course, because they're in this place of dragging the past into the present, they're projecting onto you and thinking, you're probably doing the same, which means I know you're cross with me and disappointed, and um, you probably don't want to hear from me. Um, so I'll keep my defences up because I think that you might say something to me that might hurt. They're in a very fear-based place right now. <clears throat> and then we have the Knight of Wands. So this is someone who does want to take action. Um, randomly, we've got some, you know, desire, passion coming through, lots of attraction. Um, they, I think they miss you. They probably watch you in any which way they can. But I'm not, you know, they're not in a very optimistic state right now i mean look at he's got his torch up but what is he looking at there's nothing nothing there um so i think this person's wondering have you gone are you coming back is there anything for them to be hoping for at this point are they standing here lighting the path for no reason maybe you're not even paying attention to them maybe you're not trying to find them maybe you've just gone Wow. <clears throat> it's interesting because honestly, I think in the 3D, this person's doing something really um, good, impressive, stable, like, you know, they're, they're making some moves in their life or they're keeping it together and they just seem, you know, very content and like, you know, they're wearing a pretty good mask inside, at least when it comes to you. That is not how they're feeling. They're full of hopes that they're even scared to hold on to because they think it might be too late. Um, they're worried how you see them, how you feel about them, um, stuck on this this sort of painful cycle, this heavy cycle that they want to end but don't realise they're perpetuating by focusing so much on it. Just full of doubt, nerves, insecurity, but projecting this image of almost hostility, I would say, keep away. Maybe you've even tried to reach out and they've blocked you or ignored you. But then secretly they're turning around to watch you. I mean, wow. You know, I can see. I can see why perhaps your guides and spirit is saying, you know, give this some distance or some time. I'm not sure there would be much benefit in reconnecting at this exact time um, with this person. Whether it's because they've still got some some work to do on themselves or a bit more of this particular journey they're on to complete or it could be because you come forward you know you, you hear this reading you think gosh well 
you know, if I reassure them, then that's great because we both want the same thing. We both want to reconnect, but then they're weird with you. They're hostile or they just ignore you. And then you're confused that it's, it's because they're so fearful. Do you know what I mean? So I think it might be better to genuinely trust and give this time um, and keep focusing on yourself in the meantime. Um, it really feels like this person saying they don't have closure and they think you don't either. They, it's like they feel you're owed something, but um, whether it's an explanation or something like that, but you're not being held back by it, you're actually basically fine. Whereas for them, they feel like I need some kind of closure to what we've been through, whether we're going to move forward together or not, because I am suffering emotionally, mentally, I literally cannot move on from you or this. Um, so in their minds, absolute worst case scenario is you never speak again, you never see each other again, and they feel like they will carry this with them forever. Um, middle scenario, still not great, but not as terrible as that, is you reconnect to speak, to clear the air, get closure, whatever that looks like to them, and go your separate ways. Best case scenario, you reconnect, you have a conversation, they realise, you know, all is forgiven and, and you sort of agree on where you're going next and you stay in each other's lives and you move forward. Um, but yeah, I see right now they're not taking action because, um, well, as I said, fear, doubt, insecurity. <clears throat> it's almost a feeling of if you've ever said to this if you've ever called this person out on something or just said look when you did this or when you said that it hurt my feelings instead of saying gosh sorry they get defensive even if um you know they understand where you're coming from and then maybe that leads to a separation or to no communication or something like that okay let's have a look Yeah, look at this, you see exactly, self-worth. Yeah, that's the journey this person is on. Um, and, you know, they're still on this journey. I think they've made incredible leaps forward. Um, and I actually do think from a distance you've been their inspiration. They have been keeping an eye on you. Um, but they've still got a bit to go. And that's what I mean. They they get preemptively defensive because they feel, you know, I don't want to say they lack self-worth, I mean, that, that's quite rude, but um, they feel maybe nervous, insecure, you know, and spirit really wants them to work on this so they can be confident enough to have this kind of open discussion with you and to be that king of wands to your queen of wands. Definitely. Okay. Also, I am, you know, I'm noticing the orange connected to the sacral, which is about new, um, it's about birth, it's about growing something from scratch, starting something new. Um, so I do, I do feel the intention here on the part of your person's guides is that they will really develop this secure sense of identity and self-worth and then there will be a chance for a fresh start here between you, whatever you both decide you want that to look like or whatever form it takes moving forward. Um, and I do think this person here will feel more confident with trying to have this fresh start once they have more self-confidence. Yeah, look, discovery. And we have service. Wow. Okay, so we have discovery, the red, the root chakra here. As I said, I think they've been making some changes and I think something's happened in the 3D um, and their life is looking pretty good in the 3D or they've made some get big changes. Could be around work, career, finances, that sort of thing. Um, maybe they've moved home and they've got some independence or something like that, but... I think if they've made 3D changes, it's a good indication and it's a good reflection of the changes going on within. Um, as I said, there's still more to do, but they, these changes are taking root. Um, this person is on their own private inner journey. I don't think they're discussing it with people, but they know they're changing and I don't think they're resistant to it. Um, so, you know, as we saw for you guys, there's been a period of enlightenment and growth and all of that. This person is, is going through the same thing here. Now we go to service and what's really um, pulling my attention is how we have what looks to me like these two figures in spirit form. It's making me think of some kind of generational trauma or patterns that have played out through generations that this person, your person, 
might now be working to break. And these particular patterns or beliefs or mindsets or ways of doing things could really have got in the way of this connection before um, and also could have hidden from your person who they really are. So maybe they were just projecting what they saw from their parents out into the, into the world and they never really took time to understand who they actually were. Um, so that's what's going on now. So really them getting to the core of who they are you know, relearning or maybe even recreating themselves in a way that's more in alignment with who they are right now or who they want to be. Um, yeah, so that's why I think, you know, give give this some more space um, if you're even holding space for this anymore. Um, service, yeah, just becoming maybe a bit kinder, more empathetic or allowing that em empathy to show through, not being like, you know, hiding it behind a fake hard exterior or something like that, being more mindful of other people, how they're affecting people, maybe just showing up in a more kind way. Um, <clears throat> and this is very new. See, see all this orange here, as I said, the sacral creation, bringing something new into existence. So just know this is, um, you know, if you haven't had any communication, you've got no idea what's going on with your person, they really are working hard on themselves. Um, and making really positive changes here. Okay, so I think I'll leave this here. Um, I'm just noticing actually, we've got this flower. Not only is it sort of mimicking the posture of this figure here, but it's got a face and it looks like it's throwing its arms up in joy, like, yay, you know, look at the work this person's doing. So that's nice. Okay, so yeah, I will leave this here. So, um, Thank you for watching. I hope this resonated, helped, had some messages here for you. Um, take care. If you're watching this when it's released, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.